Dear fellow truth seekers, thank you and welcome for visiting my channel, Mytho Religio. Mytho Religio is a series of books about religious comparison studies between the stories in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, Hinduism, and Buddhism, directly from their sacred books and world mythologies, hence the name Mytho Religio. The purpose is to retrace the prehistory of humanity, since I am not fully satisfied with either the explanations from the point of view of creationists nor evolutionists. There are so many missing links in both explanations. If you feel the same, then you are on the right channel. In this book series, I will also analyze about the prehistory of humanity from the archaeological records, modern scientific point of view, and other alternative theories, such as the ancient alien theories and Atlantis or Lemuria legends. After thorough research of circa 30 years, I recognize many, many similarities between all religious stories and even mythologies, and surprisingly, some of them are in accordance or even beyond modern science that have been proven as correct. Thus, I came to the conclusion that all religions must have come from the same source. And all these religious stories and mythologies, although heavily jumbled up, are actually telling one mega story. The true prehistory of our common ancestors. This mega story is quite different than what we have been told to believe and will truly blow your mind as it is more fascinating than our imagination. If you have watched the earlier videos in this channel, I believe you can see some of the similarities too. If you haven't and you truly want to do a religious comparative study, I suggest that you do so. The best way to do a comprehensive religious study via this channel is by watching the videos starting from number 1 and continue until this present video and so on. That way you will see a clear pattern. For deeper analysis that I cannot share in this platform due to its sensitive nature that leads to the above conclusion, kindly read the books that are available in ebook format that can be found in my website www.mythoreligio.com or the physical books at Amazon in color or black and white version. Timeline of Evolution Part 3 Dear fellow truth seekers, in my last two videos, I have shared with you the first and second part of timeline of evolution for our science versus religious study. In those videos, I have covered the Hadean Eon, that is the formation of the Earth where there was no oxygen yet, the Archean Eon, wherein the great oxidation event took place, i.e. an event when oxygen filled the oceans and eventually the ozone layer forms. The Proterozoic Eon, when life starting with single-celled organisms began to evolve into more complex, and the Phanerozoic Eon, that began with the Cambrian Explosion, where all major animal phyla started appearing in the fossil record. And from simple animals such as sponge evolved into fish, then amphibians and tetrapod four-legged animals including reptiles. Then a major split happened between the sauropsids or lizard-faced reptiles and synopsids, mammal-like reptiles. Now I will continue with the rest of the eras within the last Phanerozoic Eon until just before the appearance of primates that finally led to the appearance of modern man or Homo sapiens. So let's continue. 251 million years ago, Permian Triassic Extinction Event The Permian Triassic Extinction Event eliminates over 90 to 95% of marine species and 70% of terrestrial vertebrate. Terrestrial organisms were not as seriously affected as the marine ecology. This clearing of the slate may have led to an ensuing diversification. However, Life on land took 30 million years to completely recover. As the ecosystem recovers, it undergoes a fundamental shift. Whereas before the synopsids dominated, the sauropsids now take over, most famously in the form of dinosaurs. 
230 million years ago, dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were the dominant terrestrial vertebrate animals during the late Triassic period until the end of the Cretaceous period. Dinosaurs were a varied group of animals. Paleontologists have identified over 500 distinct genera and more than a thousand different species of dinosaur. And remains have been found on every continent on Earth. Some dinosaurs were herbivores, i.e. plant eater. Others carnivores, i.e. meat eater. Although generally known for their large size, many dinosaurs were human-sized or even smaller. Large dinosaurs were dominant during the Jurassic period. Most major groups of dinosaurs are known to have built nests and laid eggs. Celosaurus is one of the earliest dinosaurs. 220 million years ago, proto-mammals. As the Triassic period comes to an end, another mass extinction strike, paving the way for the dinosaurs to take over from their sauropsids cousins. Around the same time, proto-mammals evolve warm-bloodedness, the ability to maintain their internal temperature regardless of the external conditions. Theropsids is a group of synapsids that includes mammals and their immediate evolutionary ancestors. Other than the mammals, all lineage of the theropsids are extinct. One subgroup of theropsids, the cynodonts, evolved more mammal-like characteristics. The jaws of cynodonts resemble modern mammal jaws. It is very likely this group of animals contain a species which is the direct ancestor of all modern mammals. 215 million years ago, turtle. Turtles are reptiles, characterized by a special bony or cartilaginous shell developed from their ribs that act as a shield. The earliest known turtles date from 215 million years ago, making turtles one of the oldest reptile groups. Like other reptiles, turtles are ectotherms, varying their internal temperature according to the ambient environment commonly called cold-blooded. Turtles breathe air and do not lay eggs underwater, although many species live in or around water. The largest turtles are aquatic. 200 million years ago, mammals. The first mammals appeared around this time, and by 180 million years ago, the first split occurs in the early mammal population. The monotremes, a group of mammals that lay eggs rather than giving birth, break apart from the others. Few monotremes survive today. An example is the duck-billed platypus. 199 million years ago till 145.5 million years ago. Jurassic period. Large dinosaurs. Large herbivorous dinosaurs were dominant during the Jurassic period. They were preyed upon by large theropods, a group of dinosaur that includes bipedal, walk-on-two-feet carnivores. 150 million years ago, birds. Archaeopteryx, the famous first bird. The features of Archaeopteryx are believed to be a candidate for a transitional fossil between dinosaurs and birds. 140 million years ago, Placenta mammals. Around this time, placental mammals split from their cousins, the marsupials. These mammals, like the modern kangaroo, give birth when their young are still very small, but nourish them in a pouch for the first few weeks or months of their lives. 130 million years ago, flowers. The first flowering plants emerge following a period of rapid evolution. 105 million years ago until 85 million years ago. The placental mammals split into four major groups. Urcantoliglars, primates, rodents, and others. The Laurasia theorists, a hugely diverse group, including all the hoofed mammals, whales, bats, and dogs. Xenartra, including anteaters and armadillos. 
and Afroterras, elephants, aardvarks, and others. How the split occurred is unclear at present. 100 million years ago, the dinosaurs reached their peak in size. The giant Argentinosaurus, believed to be the largest land animal in Earth history, lived around this time. An early reconstruction by Gregory S. Paul estimated Argentinosaurus at between 30 to 35 meters or 98 to 115 feet in length and with a weight of up to 80 to 100 tons. 93 million years ago, the oceans became starved of oxygen, possibly due to a huge underwater volcanic eruption. 27% of marine invertebrates are wiped out. 75 million years ago, protoprimates split. The ancestors of modern primates split from the ancestors of modern rodents, for example, mice, rats, and squirrels, and lagomorphs, for example, rabbits and hares. The rodents go on to be astonishingly successful eventually making up around 40% of modern mammal species. 70 million years ago, grasses evolved. Though it will be several million years before the vast open grasslands appear. 65 million years ago, Cretaceous Tertiary Extinction. The Cretaceous Tertiary was a large-scale mass extinction of animal and plant species in a geologically short period of time. The extinction included all the giant reptiles such as the dinosaurs. The extinction clears the way for the mammals which go on to dominate the planet. 58 million years ago, Yarkonta. A group of small nocturnal, meaning active at night, and arboreal, meaning living in trees, insect-eating mammals called the Arconta, begins a speciation that will lead to the primate, tree and flying lemur orders. 55 million years ago, the Paleocene or Eocene extinction. A sudden rise in greenhouse gases sends temperatures soaring and transform the planet, wiping out many species in the depths of the sea those sparing species in the shallow seas and on land. 55 million years ago, Pachycetus is an extinct terrestrial carnivorous mammal. It is suggested that Pachycetus is a transitional species between extinct land mammals and modern marine mammals, for example, whales and dolphins. Dear fellow truth seekers, allow me to stop the timeline of evolution here or else this video gets too long with too many scientific terms, making it hard to retain. Next week, I will continue with the last period of this timeline, beginning with the appearance of primates until the hominid evolution to the appearance of modern human. For now, thank you for watching and hope to see you next week.